Hello, welcome to this video. I uh, just want to quickly give you an update uh, on our uh, app. So we have just added authorization to the application, meaning that all the pages are protected uh, against the role of a user. As you know very well, we have a bit to create roles and permissions, and then we assign them to the users. So as you can see here, if you go to users, each user has a role, as you can see here, farmer, customer, and so many others. Yeah, you have a bit to create a new user. Now, right now, the authenticated user is logged in. Uh, this one, uh, the same Richard with this email. If you just scroll down, you will see that he has this uh, super admin, okay? So we can just check out this role of super admin and we see uh, the abilities this person can do. If you go back to the roles, we can just like find this role of super admin here, okay? And you can see it has all privileges, but we can just go ahead and try to edit this. Uh, for instance, you'll see that all the things are actually checked. Dashboard, users view, all these ones are all checked, meaning he has access to all the pages on the application. The dashboard users, roles, sales. So if you want, for instance, we could just say, uh, let's check for instance, that this person has access to the sales page. So if you just go to the sales page here and you click on sales, you'll see that this person can go ahead and see the sales because he has access to this page. So I want to go to the roles and modify uh, the role of this. So we have to go to the super admin and edit the role. Okay, I'm just going to go here uh, to the edit. If I can just click it. Okay, so I want to check off uh, sales and then I'll just go ahead and update. Okay, so the update was successful. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the super admin. Just to confirm if um, the update uh, just worked. Okay, so you can see that sales is unchecked, meaning he has no access to this. Now, since is the the he is the current um uh, since this is the current user who is logged in, right now he has to first log out. So I'm just going to go ahead and log out. And then again log in. Okay, so now let's first of all you will see that this uh the sales uh is no longer here. Okay, so this has been taken off here. He cannot see the sales on the sidebar. He has you uh, know this. So but let's just try to see if he try to see say something like dashboard and then he goes to the sales. Okay, let's say he try to go to dashboard sales even when he is not done this. So you can see that right now they're telling that uh, 403 not authorized. You do not have permission to view this page. Check on the sidebar for the resources you have access to. And these are the only access, uh, the resources he has access to. And that's how we control the pages. And to confirm this, for instance, if you just went back to these users and maybe you create a new user, to show you uh what this one uh what this one means okay let's go and create a new role uh before we just add this let's first go and add a new role okay i'm just going to add a new role maybe we just call it um um we just create uh call this one as a salesman so I'm just going to say sales uh man salesman uh, description uh, this maybe manages uh, maybe products or something he manages products okay maybe this one has only access he has only access to the products okay we have products 
uh, we can just go here. He has only access to products only, and maybe the dashboard. Okay, save. So here we just go in and we have created a new role called the salesman. Let's create one user with this. So I'll just go ahead and create a new user here. Of course, you could send a sign up page to this user, or you can create this new user from here. Oh, uh, the actually the quick the quick one is assigning. We could just go ahead and um no, let's just create a, just a new user. Also, just to be uh safe. So I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, use a fake filler. Okay. Uh, this is going to be login maybe 2025. This is the email. Okay. I'm just going to copy this. Assign the role to the salesman. And let's go ahead and create this user. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and save this user. Uh, with the role of salesman okay we know the salesman has access to two pages that's the admin okay he has access to the admin uh, dashboard plus the products only so if i just go to if i just go to the users okay uh, we have just this new user who is a salesman uh Let's just go ahead and open this maidenator here and add this person to receive the mail. So I'm just going to go back to the app and send this invite. Okay, so the invite was sent. We can now check and the invite is here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and log out from this person okay and let's go to the email that we have just received and uh, first of all we have this email i'm just going to copy the email and we have here the password i'm just going to click on login here and we are here on the login i just press this and also put this password and sign in Okay, so you can see that this person has access to the dashboard as we gave him and the inventory. If you check in the inventory, he has only access to the products. Okay, so this is really, really so cool. Uh, I, you don't know how how much a uh, logic is behind this, but this is really, really great. Uh, we managed to put a uh, page access with a lot of advanced techniques like um if you look at the code this is really much advanced as i can tell you you can see for instance in uh in a page uh, that is authenticated we just have this authorized page wrapper that takes in the permissions uh, that can be uh for this page okay and this page wrapper is only just helping us to protect the pages uh if you are not authorized as you can see here we first hide these uh the sidebar uh the sidebar here is protected and you can just go ahead and try to access for instance point of sale if it is they are not authorized it will just simply be protected as you can see here okay and even you can see on the point of sale you see that you have again only the two uh only the two places that you can see only the two uh links are the only ones that you have okay so this is really 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 great okay and if you find this useful and you want to join the course or you want to get the source code please check in the link i uh, will find those two links thank you so much see you in the next video